Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another gameplay episode here on Meta Bros. I am Moldy Potion. This is my bro, Metacrax. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We are continuing to battle the Napa Squatches deck versus the Earth Caddy. The Earth Caddies. The Critter Cats. The Earth Kitties. It's like yeah. it's a lot of fearsome critters. The yeah. cats are fearsome critters, aren't they? Yep. They're getting the tribal boost. Yep. So I have revised this now. This is a fresh match. So this will be the first game, which means that we will be flipping to see who goes first. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's going to be you. Oh, I'll take it. All right. Um, so, yeah, I ditched the crystals. Mm -hmm. You still have Absorb Aura in your spell book? No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you knew that was coming. Yeah. Um, I add another Cactus Cat, and I put in Tripaderos because they're all tribal boosting for some critters. Mm -hmm. um, also, thank you for the recommendation, threw in John Henry. So we'll see how it plays. It's very different, yeah. but I have to say I like Earth. Like, it felt good. Obviously, there was a dud game in there with the double power-up red in your spell book that we yeah. just counted in my favor. Um, but it's interesting to play just like the big bat. You know what I mean? Yeah. We used to do that with magic, uh, specifically forest um, mana. Mm -hmm. Was it called forest or was it just called green? <laughs> I think it was just green. I think you're right too. Yeah. It's uh, it's bizarre to think about magic and apply you know retroactively <laughs> all the metazoo terminology. Anyway, guys, uh, before we get into the actual game, if you're enjoying the channel and you'd like to support us, and you happen to be shopping at Channel Fireball, you could use the code Metabros with a Z at checkout. It will not cost you anything extra, but it would help us out. Absolutely. You can also support us directly if you love the content. You can go to Patreon.com/backslash Metabros with a Z. We do merch and art giveaways every month. If you stick with us for a few months, I've got a wave of sketch cards going out now. I'm going to start another wave soon, but first we got to get through this art contest. We also help you guys build your spell books and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you want to support us, of course, we would super appreciate that and big love to all of our patrons. And speaking of art contest, if you guys need a ticket for the fan art contest, you want to go hit up uh, Charles Farley on Instagram. Drop the link below. He's doing a little contest. You do a little sketch for him, send him a picture. Then if you're chosen as the winner, you will receive a ticket to enter the uh, big art contest. Uh, being held by MetaZoo right now. It is being held right now. So quick, quick, like a bunny. Get yeah. to it. Quick, quick, like a bunny. What does that come from? Childhood? I don't know. Is that like something that mom and dad used to say to us or some shit? Probably. That's it's definitely not from like X-Men or something. Or, <laughs> no, you know, definitely Batman. not. No. Um, all right. Elbow in. Elbow in. Excellent. Do you get to go first? Oh, I'm also, if you guys it. want a squonk playmat, you can hit us up uh, in the comments or better yet, <laughs> Find our links to Instagram and direct message us there. Or you could join our Patreon where we give you that month's contribution towards a playmat so you get a little discount. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Way to sell it, bro. Yeah. It's hey, true, I'm, guys. I'm what just, he said is true. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I'm pushing your art for you. Uh, you go. It's your go. I'm just waiting for you to, to get your chapter. Oh, sorry. I'll stop the shuffling. Um... Yeah, let's go. Let's okay. do it. All right. Let's see what happens. Bookmarking a page, placing a dark aura in the arena, going to generate one and contract born from the earth. So each caster may search their spellbook for a Terra page and contract it. First him, and then I'll contract after him. Desert. Nighttime. Okay. Contracted mm -hmm. in the arena. We officially. shuffle our spellbooks. And then the next beastie, or the next page I contract, I think it's beastie actually. Let me see here to make sure that. Yeah, the next beastie I contract will cost one less aura to contract for every active Terra bonus in the arena right now. So I'm going to be able to bring out my Napa Rebob's Booty Monkey for free. Yep. Which is nice. And uh, I'll pass turn. All right. Bookmark. Place my own aura in the arena. Earth aura. I'll drop another desert just for fun. Mm -hmm. And turn. Okay. Uh, bookmark on a page. Awakening, I will bring a dark aura in the arena. Gonna generate one for another Napa Rebob's booty monkey, and I'll generate one for a bookmark. Bookmark two pages into my chapter, and I'll attack you for 70. Got me. Napa Rebob's. Because, guys, if you don't remember, Napa Rebob's is a beastie Sasquatch, costs one dark aura, 25 LP, has flight, gets a 10 damage bonus from the nighttime terror, which is active right now. And if there's a banana within eyesight, double this page's attack damage against casters after modifiers. So his 25 damage is actually 35, and when it hits him, it's 70. Pass turn. Okay. Bookmark. 
Place an Earth Aura in the arena. I'll generate two to contract a stone, eating Guy Kutis, a card new to Wilderness. In case you guys aren't familiar, I'll do a quick read here. So the stone eating Guy Kukis, you can have Guy uh, Kutis. Guy Askutis. Guy Askutis. Guy Askutis. I need uh, the viewer who helped us out before. He did the etymology for me, like the pronunciation <laughs> spelled it out. I need some help with this one. Um, anyway, you can have two per spellbook. Contraction cost to Earth. Life points 50. Has the burrow trait. Has the convert trait. Gets an additional 10 bonus to the attack if the ground terra. No. Yes. Mountain. Damn. That's the ground terra. Right? Let me see. I don't know, man. Oh, sorry. That's the mountain terror. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's not applying to this spell book because we're not <clears> playing <throat> that Terra. Scavenge is the power. Place an earth beastie in your limbo face up under this beastie. Crunch is the attack. Base damage 10. Before doing damage, you may have this attack's base damage become equal to the base damage of an attack on an earth beastie under this beastie. Gaia Kutis is in the arena turn. Okay. All right, this is the only time I'm going to give you this. Burrow. This, yep. <laughs> it's the only, I'm not going to help you with that one. Oh, that's, he's always burrowed on your turn. I know, but you can't just say that. But I just did. Yeah, but I mean, I'm saying for tournament's sake, if you don't say it but in the future. But you can't rush me. You can't be like, I draw, I awaken, and I'm attacking. I always have a priority window. It's not like it's a, it's a fleeting moment. Right. I pass turn. I but, burrow my beastie at the beginning of your turn. Right, but if I get through the beginning of my turn, what's what's through? I always have a little priority. It's not yeah. like you can rush me. You have a no. You have a priority check for sure. But if you obviously pass that priority check and are not paying attention, and you're like, I'm like, I'm going to bring an aura into play, and you're like, okay, you know, I'm not going to give it back to you. I was silent. I said nothing except burrow. Uh, yeah, you got it this time. I'm just saying if. If basically, if you acknowledge one of my actions and you haven't said burrow yet, then I'm considering I'll never it a mistake. acknowledge any of your actions. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. Growing up with you. My God. All right. Um, I'll awaken everybody and uh, bring a prism aura into the arena. And I will attack you for 140. Yeah, you got me. And pass turn. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. Not burrow. I do I have to state not burrow, or do I only state burrow? You just state burrow. Okay. Place another earth aura in the arena. Generate, so he's not burrowed. I'll take the status effect indicator away. To play bookmark, allowing me to draw two more cards. Okay. Um. All right. Life points on these guys. Twenty five. Twenty five. Huh? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Um. I. I guess, <laughs> man. Hmm. Yeah. I uh, I generate one here. Okay. And I generate two here. All right. And I play Rock Rain to kill one of the Rebobs. Okay. So, yep. uh, Rock Rain, six per spell book. Activate the following. Oh, X is the cost. X Earth. Activate the following X times where X is equal to the number of Earth Aura used to contract this spell. Deal 10 damage to target beastie or artifact. So I did it. I dealt yep. 30 damage yep. with the three Earth Aura, and I will pass turn Burrow. Okay. You got it. Bookmark a page, awaken, generate one, contract another Rebobs, mm. bring another Dark Aura in the arena, hit you for 70. You got me again. Pass turn. Bookmark, awaken, not burrow. Place another Earth Aura in the arena. Um, <laughs> I guess. Hmm. I will generate one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, make that two to contract a cactus cat. Okay, who's really the star of this spell book? Ta cactus cat, which I believe came out in Cryptid Nation, right? Yes, it did. It's been around for a while. Uh, six per spell book. We're doing the full play set now. Contraction cost two earth. Life points forty. Has stone skin, so all damage outside of combat will be reduced to zero. An additional fifty bonus to the attack if the desert terra is in play. It is, and also tribal boost gains. Plus 10 life points and plus 10 damage for every other beastie fearsome critter in the arena. Spindle is the attack, dealing a base damage of 30. Spindle deals zero damage if you are drinking a beverage. So be careful on turns. You decide to drink a beverage and mm -hmm. you might want to confirm with whatever 
play style, you know, you're, you and your opponent, or if you're at a tournament, like an official competition, like can, how much can you hit that water with it affecting or not affecting Cactus Cat? Yeah, probably just don't even drink water till the round is over. Yeah, yeah. That's probably, a, yeah, or maybe even the game for that matter. We don't really know. Mm-hmm. Um, he's letting me drink water anytime that I am not, well, I can drink water anytime, but basically Cactus Cat, you know what, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm just telling him he can't drink water in combat because it's an attack effect. So if he's drink, if he declares yeah. an attack and he drinks water, that's what we've decided zero. off camera just to make things easy. Because I, I mean, it's hot here. It's Montana. Mm-hmm. It's probably t-shirt weather time. Um, okay, are you passing turn? No, I am going to letting him ball my cactus cat and hit you for. Oh wait. I'm sorry. I'm a nightmare to you, dude. Uh, it would be 30 plus. Right. Yeah, it's 90. 90. Yeah, we'll mm-hmm. do that. Yep. And then we'll do another 90, and we'll do another 90. Okay. All right. So 270 total. Yep. And I'll throw 10 on there as well. Okay. Turn, burrow, Gaia, kutas. Book, mark, and a page. Awakening my monkeys. <clears throat> hmm. I will. What is the move here? Yeah, I'll attack Cactus Cat with one of my rebobs for 35. And then I'll finish him with the other rebobs. Okay. I think that's the move right there. And then I'll, lightning in a bottle, I'll ping you for 70. You got me. And pass turn. All right. Bookmark. Awaken. Hmm. 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 Now what is the move? Well, right. I guess we generate two and we contract another cactus cat. Okay. And then I hit you for 10. Yep. Turn. Burrow. Gael Kutus. Bookmark in a page awakening. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lightning in a bottle your cactus cat. What? Yep. I'm gonna awaken it and I'm gonna give it first strike so that I can hateful demise your cactus cat. You're telling me that you just did some tricky tech shit by giving my cactus cat a second trait in addition to stone skin so that you could hateful demise and remove them with the two traits. Yeah, that's what I did. So when you give it first strike, it has that trait technically. Yeah, it gains first strike. First strike. I'm not trait. arguing. I'm yeah, impressed. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that's the yep. Tricky stuff with hateful demise. I mean, I'm a little pissed, but mostly I'm impressed. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Didn't expect um, that. And then I will hit you for 70 with Napa. Yeah, you got me again. Bookmark. You know, I don't know if New Beginnings is in here. I'm going to need to check uh, after this game. So generate two. Contract another Cactus Cat. Oh, man. Okay. And hit you for 10. Okay. Pass. Burrow. Gaia. Bookmark in the page. Awakening. Generate one to contract bookmark. Bookmark in two more pages. I'll generate one, two, three, and contract a bat squatch. <laughs> bat squatch. He's a beastie sasquatch. Four per spell book. Costs three. Dark aura. Has seventy LP. Has flight. Gets a twenty-five damage bonus from the nighttime Terra. Has a fourth wall effect that you can ignore because it's not tournament legal. I'm not even going to read it. You may not put bat squatch in a spell book that has a beastie named mothman in it so it can't share a spell book with mothman you got to choose one or the other during your turn you may fatigue this beastie place it in the limbo and select another beastie from your limbo with total aura cost equal to or less than this beastie's total aura cost and put it back in the arena under your control sonic screeches the attack deals 30 base damage and it inflicts confuse lightning in a bottle on the bat squatch and we gonna gobble up cactus cat he did Dealing him 55 damage, and then, oh, Napa's awake, and I'll hit you for 70 with yeah, Napa. Yeah, again. Pass turn. Bookmark, awaken, unburrowed, generate two, another cactus cat. <sighs> hit you for 10. <clears throat> Wait, this is dumb. You're just going to kill the cactus cat. <laughs> I'm just going to kill the cactus cat. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Thanks for the fake rewind. Mm-hmm. 10, turn, yep. burrow. 
McMark. I said it in the last video, guys. I think Bat Squatch is very underrated for Dark Beasties. I know, I know it's not Mothman and you can't play Mothman, but it's just so value. Like Loveland Mailman is a $300 card right now, and that's because it has 60 LP, it has Fleet, and it has confuse on its attacks i mean it's unblockable too but it has confuse on its attacks this is a three cost you can get this for pennies on the dollar it has 70 lp it has flight it hits for 55 when the nighttime tears out it has confuse and you can revive other beasties with it like what are we talking about man mm, yeah. this thing is so good he's high tech he's just not mothman so people are like meh yeah and i don't think we really appreciated what confused was until months later yes. and now it's become our personal favorite yeah because it's basically a death sentence waiting to happen except with this spellbook specifically because some of the earth beasties are so big that they can just hit themselves and be fine typically a beastie hits itself it kills itself um as long as it's damaged more than its life points you gotta yep, get it yeah. yep uh all right well i'll just swing at you for 55 and 70 yeah 125 mm -hmm. and then pass turn bookmark Ooh, i think i need to revise this spell book slow going um awaken non-burrowed generate two gaius mm -hmm. hit you for 10 Turn, burrow both. Okay. Bookmark, awaken, bring out a another Nappa, and hit you for 125 again. You get me again. And pass turn. Okay. Bookmark, awaken. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, man. Okay. Generate. Oh, man. Two, four, six. I don't know. What's he playing right now, guys? I, I don't think it's the right move. It's just a little disappointing at the moment. Um, I'm, I got to be careful with that confused. I don't know. But he would kill him. Well, no, he wouldn't kill him. Shoot. Hmm. Oh, it can't have satisfact indicators. Grab the monsters in the arena. Oh. Took me a minute. Okay. I was debating it for, oh, uh, man. you know. Yeah, so Grafton's here. Um, I will read Grafton in case you guys don't know. Amazing art. Oh, my gosh. So cool. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, Grafton monster. One per spell, but contraction cost six. Earth had to use the guy Kuktas. Kutas uh, convert trait, 150 mm -hmm. life points, stone skin, all damage outside of combat, reduce zero, has a defender trait, so life points are double when it is not my turn. They do reduce back to the normal, so if you deal enough damage, it will kill him once it returns to my turn. Also has unblockable. Gets an additional 20 bonus to the attack if the forest or the mountain terror is in play. We're not playing either of those. Fourth wall effect, this page costs zero to contract if it's Mother's Day. That's not applicable here. This page cannot be affected by non-beastie pages while on or off the arena. So that means no power up reading, Grafted mm -hmm. Monster. Mm -hmm. Arena effect. This page must be the target of all legal attacks and cannot have status effect indicators. So crazy, guys. Mud Rock Hurl, base damage 50, is the attack. And with that, turn, burrow my beasties. Mm -hmm. All right. Bookmark an A page, Awakening. So if he attacks, he has to hit Grafton. Grafton will not be confused. He'll deal some significant damage to Batty. He won't kill him. He would kill the Revobs, which would be nice. And they don't have enough damage at the moment to take out Grafton. Yeah. So he really, and he's a defender right now, so he's got twice the life point. So he's just going to be swallowing all that damage, hitting back for 50, knocking a few of his beasties away if he attacks with all of them. Well, hmm. A couple, not a few. I don't really have much of a choice right now. I basically... I basically either fully commit to killing Grafton or right you now. you start to wait for shit. Or I wait. And there are things I could wait for. Hateful Demise would ruin Grafton. Oh, he nope. can't be affected by nope, pages. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. No, there's other Whoa, ways. Dude. There's other ways to get around it. But um, you need that first anniversary to... No, nope. that wouldn't even do it. Nope. How the fuck are you going to get rid of Grafton? <clears throat> other than damage. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. All right, I'll tell you. Indrid Cold. If I get Indrid Cold... I don't have to care about Grafton because all my Dark Beasties are immortal. So 
That's what I have to hope happens at this point. Either I don't attack and Injured comes out, or I fully commit to attacking right now to kill Grafton and hope that I find more beasties before he does. Now that is tempting. I have to deal Grafton 150 damage to kill him. He wouldn't die this turn, so he'd take all my beasties with him, but he would die next turn. He wouldn't kill Batsquatch. Well, to, for me to deal 150 damage to him, he would, because I'd have to attack him twice with that oh, squatch. Then, yeah. So right now, I could deal him 125, need to hit him again, and he would take all of my beasties with him. It's what we're doing. Really? It's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Bat Squatch is attacking for 55. All right, you got him for 55. Grafton hits back for 50. Lightning in a... Hmm? No, there is a way to do this smarter. Nappa is going to crash into Grafton for 35. Okay, you got 50 damage on Bat Squatch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, totally. Nappa dies, and now I'm up to uh, 55 plus 35, I believe 90. Yes, you should be at 90 right now. Okay, I and am. And this Nappa, Nappa did. And then next Nappa is coming in for 35. You got him again. kills Nappa. Yep. yep. So now Nappa I'm at uh, 115. Oh, no. Yeah, my bad. Because he has the defender trait, guys. So my bat squatch is going to die no matter what. Yeah. Lightning in a bottle. Yep. Swing. Swing at Grafton. You got him. For 55 more. Grafton hits back. And now he has uh, enough to kill him. So he's got a... What is it? 55 plus um, 115. Ooh, I think he's at 170 yep. now. Yep. You, you did it. Um, I'm going to generate three, contract another bat squatch, and then pass turn and graft in. All right. Graft in, go and die. Yep, but he did some work. One card took care of three beasties. <sighs> crazy. Not bad. We'll take crazy. it. Um, we're going to bookmark. It's crazy because it's not just a big beastie. Like, I could have hateful demised any other beastie in the game except Grafton or Grim Reaper. And that's so, that just slows everything down. I, it was basically a living wipe. He killed everything I had. Yeah, in a way. Um, again, I'm loving playing this like this big hitter beastie yeah. spell book. It's just so much fun. Yeah. Um, all right, I drop an aura in the arena. I'm going to generate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 70 damage rock rain bat squash. Okay, you're going to get him. And with that, Turn, burrow my Gaiacutus. Okay, bookmark on a page, Awakening. I'll bring an aura in the arena, and that's all I got past turn. All right, bookmark, obviously unburrowed. We'll generate uh, two to contract another cactus cat. Mm -hmm. We will attack and hit you for 10, and then 20. Whoa, whoa, no, none of that's happening. Hold okay. on, slow down. We are going to use the power to put the Grafton monster can't be affected by other pages yeah well non-beastie pages so actually you could this page must be the target oh this page cannot be affected by non-beastie pages while honor that counts yeah, so beastie. Yeah, yeah. all right i'm stealing grafton's attack with gaia kutis's power scavenge and i'm also going to use the other gaia kutis power to grab the cactus cat okay and with that i will pass turn and burrow both the gaia's kutises okay bookmark and maybe page. it's the gaia's kutai the gaia's kutai uh-huh Bookmark on a page. Uh, that's all I got. Past turn. All right. Bookmark. Awaken. Place another Earth Aura in the arena. I'll hit you with the Cactus Cat for what will end up being... Well, these guys give tribal boost. Mm -hmm. Yes, they drew, do. So uh, 10, 100. 20. Thank you. 100. Mm -hmm. um, and then he will hit... Does he get tribal boost? No. no. He only gives it. So he's just going to hit you for 30. Mm -hmm. And then the Grafton's going to hit you for 50. Well, okay. the guy Kutus with the Grafton attack. Right. And I will pass turn and burrow both of my Gaius Kutai. Okay. I will generate three and contract another Bat Squatch. Okay. And I'll pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. Uh, I'm going to generate one, two, three, four five six seven rock rain the bat squatch all right then i will attack you with the guy kutus with 50 with the grafton underneath it mm -hmm. and then make that 100 with the cactus cat okay and lighting the bottle another 100 with the cactus cat all right turn bookmarking a page awakening hmm
gonna contract a spell. B- burrowed. They're burrowed. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> don't forget that at tournament, guys. You, people will not be as nice as me. They won't be as nice as me. All right. Um, yeah, there was a long time. That was a long time. I was like waiting. I'm it's like, funny because I guess I'll I say saw, something. I saw your hand. You did this little thing that I've never seen you do. You picked up your two cards and you tapped them twice. Yeah, I was like, and you were. I was like, what is this? I was like, this is the exact situation I was talking about. Yep. Um, I don't think you're coming back, but thanks for giving me the room to get it right. Yep. Uh, let's see. You're gonna hit me. I mean, look at this. It's two sixty to two fifty. I know. I'm gonna pass turn. Wow. We'll see if you can if you can deal me two hundred fifty damage. All right. Bookmark. Awaken. Um. Obviously, non burrowed at the moment. Attack mm-hmm. you for a hundred. Mm-hmm. Uh. Then hit you for thirty, and then hit you for fifty. Okay. Place an Earth Aura in the arena. Turn burrow the guy Kutai. Okay. Bookmarking a page. You gotta clear <sighs> my arena. That's not gonna do it, is it? Basically, guys, I'm holding injured Colton. If I would have gotten an aura page, that I would have won the game. But um, well, you would have brought back oops. immortal beasties with fleet. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I would have had Nappas and I had bloodlusts as well. So was just waiting for that perfect hit, but it's all good. We're gonna new beginnings and see what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna shuffle back into my spell book. So now you're shuffling injured away from yourself. Uh huh. But mm. I might draw him again. That's one of the advantages to new beginnings. If I draw him, but you're not gonna have the aura because you just used one to play that. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna have this. It's true. I appreciate the effort to the last breath, though. Mm-hmm. Let's we'll see what see what we get. You know, maybe some lightning in a bottle, a Napa. It makes the death so much more fun when your opponent really tries to win and doesn't. If I got a Napa, a power bread, and a lightning in a bottle, this game's in the bag. Well, it's not out of the question. It could happen. Do you have it? Hmm. Napa, lightning. Bloodlust? Because that would be uh, 140 plus 140. I have to think here. 280? I have to think you here. You could do it. I don't have that. Um, what do I do? What do I do? This is a total mind, mind F. I'm going to generate two and contract a wood devil. Okay. And <laughs> um, I mean, you just gave me all the power that I've been waiting for because I've been top decking. I know. I have a ton of options next turn. I know. But um, I like this. This is cool. It's not over yet. Okay. Um, I'll lightning in a bottle your cactus cat. Okay. And hateful demise him. Yeah, here we go. All right. Cactus cat dies. Mm. But you're still swinging for 80, so that's game. game. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Not a bad game. Um, I will be throwing new beginnings in this. I got to get... And I think I want to put another um, Rock Rain in this. Every yeah, single Rain's time awesome. I grab Rock Rain, I felt great. Yeah, it's awesome. And that's... that's. I mean, it's not, you know, a death beam. You need to have the aura to get up to the damage. But it definitely felt a lot better having that bit of control back where i could remove a beastie without having to line up a couple cards Mm -hmm. like you know uh anniversary and then another bc to attack Mm -hmm. okay well this is uh round one yep i took it nice we'll hit the side decks we'll Mm -hmm. do a little revision Mm -hmm. uh keep the spellbook pages the same and continue on with the match tomorrow that sounds good to me okay guys thank you for watching that's it for today um if you happen to be shopping at channel fireball and you feel like supporting us you could use the code meta bros with a z at checkout it won't cost you anything extra but it would help us out absolutely and if you want to support us more directly like i mentioned earlier we do have a patreon you can check us out at patreon.com backslash meta bros big love to all of our patrons you guys are amazing thank you so much for the support and uh we will keep the content coming we'll see you next time on meta bros later everybody later guys <laughs>